What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today it is a thousand dollar challenge day. Yes, I got challenged from my friends at Hammock. And if you don't know anything about Hammock, Hammock is a listing app. All you have to do is take pictures of whatever item you want, send them to Hammock, and they will list all the items for you. They will cross list, they will delist, but there'll be more details on that later. This is the challenge that they issued to me and a few other resellers. I see you, Chris, flipping the world. I'm coming for you. This is the challenge. They said, we want to see if you can go to any store that you want to, a Goodwill, Ben Store, Walmart, Ross, if you name it, and there's profits in there to be made, you can go in there, but you have 30 minutes to see if you can find some profits. You wanna find the biggest return on investments, and you wanna find some good items, guys. You wanna find some really good items. This will be voted on from the friends at Hammock, as well as some other people, but I am here first in line already, guys. This store opens at 11 o'clock, and I think, let's pull out my handy dandy watch. It is 10.42. Tuesday, July 6th, when this had to be recorded. This had to be recorded on a Tuesday. So for me, that is $3 day, but I have faith in the bin stores. I think I'm gonna find profit here. Yeah, we're gonna find some profit. So wish me luck whenever the doors open. I'm gonna start my timer, because I have 30 minutes from that mark. You know, I'm probably gonna source the bins for 20 minutes and then take all the items that I want in the last 10 minutes and really go through them and see what the pro big profit margins are and then go from there. But I don't know, I may freestyle it. It's a challenge, I have 30 minutes. We'll figure it out, but let's go ahead and get started. So guys, initially I was like, they're gonna be late. They're not gonna open the door in time, but they were pretty much right on time. You see, as I walk in the door, I show the clock. It is 11 o'clock on the dot. I saw this balloon helium gas thing <laughs> from outside so i decided to pick it up immediately and i wanted to check comps on that so i knew it was heavy it went fit on the bag so luckily this place you can kind of put items to the side as you continue to shop so i went ahead and grabbed it looked in the area next to me and you see me i'm shoving things in my bag not really worried about profit margins initially because it's a competition. I'm trying to find all the high dollar items that I can, throw them in the bags. I'm treating this like a normal day. I would come in here, put everything in my bag, and then when it's almost over with, that's when I would check comps. So the same thing I'm doing today. Put all the big things to the side real quick. My bag is pretty heavy. I made sure that I grabbed two bags initially walking in the door because I knew I was gonna grab a lot of items. But as you can see me, I'm also taking my time. I'm not just picking up junk to be honest i mean i don't believe in buying junk anyway naturally so i'm not just going to grab junk i'm trying to look for items that i would normally purchase on a regular basis because to me this may be a competition but at the end of the day this is still my job i am a full-time reseller i've been reselling for about three years now i don't have any other job but this so this is what i do i feel like i'm in my element although this is a competition again i need to keep in mind like i need to find profits for the day-to-day -day life. So you see me, I'm putting things in my bag and continuing just trying to keep a steady head. Feel like time is already running out on me. I feel like I'm running out of breath. You know how it is in competitions. Sometimes we let our mind take over and we just start thinking crazy things. And next thing you know, we feel like the pressure is just too much for us. But luckily we have the power to overcome it, to be honest. So just keep a steady head and just keep pushing through. So that's pretty much what I do trying to go through and it seems like there's really nothing in the bins but i don't know you see i find some items here and there and i wish i had somebody actually recording me and being able to give you some better footage but when you're by yourself this is all you can do strap the gopro to the head and keep it moving I didn't have times for adjustments and things like that i just wanted to come through the bins as fast as i can because the goal was pretty much looking for profit You see, I'm grabbing books and everything. See, normally, again, this is what I do day to day. I have a bunch of experience coming to the bins or even the Goodwills. I just think the bins are the best place to try to come find the best potential profits. And this is my second time coming to this bin store. I'm glad I found this bin store because I'm originally from South Carolina and I literally just moved to Michigan where I didn't feel like they had the quality of bin stores that I was looking for, especially when you compare them to South Carolina. So you see me check the time. It has only been two minutes. When I saw it, it was only two minutes and I had that many items and I pretty much have been through two and a half bins. 
I already knew that if there was anything really good in the bins, I would probably run across it eventually as I checked just to make sure that my timer is still on because I didn't want any problems at all because this is a competition and it is what it is. And although this is 30 minutes of consecutive video, yes, consecutive of bin video footage, it's like, wow, how can I make this entertaining for you guys? And the fact is, I can't because it's 30 minutes of me going through the bins and you guys love the profits and that's what it's about. You guys come because you enjoy it and I appreciate you. So make sure that you smash that like button for me if you do not mind because again, I'm trying to win this competition. It's all about finding the profits, the profits and more of those profits. Even if I have to go through thousands and thousands of these items that aren't worth any money as you see me shove more items in the bag. This round, I feel like I'm taking my time a little bit now. I looked at the clock a few minutes ago and it was only 11.02. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really, really good. Even though I don't feel like I found anything so far that's gonna like blow my mind or win the competition. And to be honest, I don't even know what it's going to take to win the competition. I don't even know what they're looking for. I just know I have 30 minutes to come in here and try to find the best return on my investment. And at the end of the day, I want to do that anyway. So this is pretty much they're just telling me, hey, go to work. And if you happen to go to work and do better work than these other people that we're telling to go to work, we'll give you more money. So that's all I'm looking at. It's going to be another payday for me. And right here, I will say it. If I win, I guarantee I will definitely be giving away 10 percent to my subscribers because why not? Why would not? So, yeah, that's how that's going to go down. But anyways, back to searching these bins. Yeah. 30 minutes of consecutive footage because we are doing a video for Hammock. And if you just happen to tune in in the middle of this video, yes, Hammock challenged me and around five other resellers to a challenge where we have 30 minutes to go to any store. It could have been any store that you can think of, guys. It could have been a convenience store. It could have been a supermarket. It could have been a bakery. If you feel like you go find profits in the bakery, it would have been okay as well. So I also decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and go Instagram live right now so I can have a little bit more proof, a little bit more backup that I was in these bins at this time that I said I was going to. Did anybody else thinking about doing this? They probably did, but I'm just letting you know I did too. So I decided to go Instagram live. Is that a cocky move? Will that move hold me back? Because at the end of the day, there's time that I wasted trying to go live for Instagram. Look at all the people in the bins. Everybody's getting profits. Now I need to hurry up and find some something good walking with one hand trying to entertain Instagram and then also being in the bins at the same time yeah I, I don't know what's going on I'm definitely gonna lose this competition I don't even know why they chose me but I'm so grateful that they did so thank you right now I want to send a special shout out to hammock just for including me in the competition guys and if you guys want to sign up for hammock you have that opportunity where all you have to do is go to hammock you can follow them on Instagram as well, guys. I will leave the link to the description box below. I don't have no code I'm going to give you or anything like that, guys. If you don't like listing and you want somebody else to list for you, go ahead and look at some of the services, services that Hammock provides for you. Yes, your boy, I don't have any code for you. Just go check out Hammock. And if you want to use somebody else's code, you can because that's what it's about. I want to be able to provide good services for you guys. And I will have a whole video because I'm currently doing my 30 day hammock trial to see exactly how good they are. So you know how I am, guys. I'm going to give it to you full force and the truth. But anyways, let's get back to sourcing these items. The pressure is starting to mount up on me a little bit as I pulled out the phone, as I go Instagram live and you see everybody on Instagram, they're like, Tay, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to win this challenge, guys. You see what I'm doing, going through all of the bins, trying to find all of the profit. Am I going to be able to do it? Because I'm having a bad run where I'm going through a lot of items and I'm not really finding anything, guys. Um, so, and then it's, it's also, you gotta think, what item is going to be good enough to submit so i thought of it like okay maybe they're gonna do a lot so all the items that i buy together will lock them up and then we'll talk about the return on that investment versus just one item who goes to the bench store and just buys one item for profit not me and that's also not in the rules guys so really 
We're coming in blind, coming in all the way blind. So we're just pretty much looking for the best profits possible. And if you don't know anything about Ben stores, guys, I encourage you to check them out. Yes, this is the portion of the video where I tell you go to Ben stores. I have 30 minutes in this video to kill. So yeah, let's talk about it. You see all the items that I'm coming here and I'm digging for all of these random items, the items that I'm even leaving behind. You guys, you guys can be picking up some of these items. Today is only $3 day. I'm getting all of these items for $3. All of these items, $3. Let that sink in. They have a dollar day and they also have a $15 fill a bag day. I can't wait to be able to show you guys a $15 fill a bag day. Maybe I should do that live. That's what I was hoping the competition was on because you can come in here and pick up one of these bags and fill these up for literally $15. And yeah, there's so many good items in here and the return on investment on those days are incredible. So yeah, make sure you check out some of your bench sto ben stores locally if you don't mind. Just do that for me. Get on Facebook and hop and look around and say, hey, local bench store, is there one near me? Type in bench store, bench store near me, local bench store, Amazon liquidation store, Amazon overstock store or anything like that or any combination of those words and you should be able to find one near you even if you don't do this for profit even if you are watching these videos for pure entertainment because you like watching people go through items just to see what's out there in the world i encourage you go check it out even if you don't want to do it because you're going to walk in and you're going to walk out with a bag full of stuff, not only for you, but all of your family, your nieces, your nieces, nieces, your cousins, brothers, your brother's cousins and the mailman. I'm telling you because these bin stores just have so many items that you will find something that you want and need. So, yeah. My camera still recording. Let me see. Yep. 10 minutes. It says it's been 10 minutes. That means I got 20 more minutes. Literally just sold one of these. Y'all think I should ask people in here for help? <laughs> Is that cheating? The rule book did not say we couldn't ask for help. What's this? Neat guitar, I don't know what this is. I wasted too much time on that item. Ooh, a watch, let's get it. No, watch band. guy across from me is wearing like one of the coolest shirts ever. Crosser. Is that expensive? Somebody look that up for me. Crosser. <laughs> this is tiring. How much time is left? I can't see. 11 minutes. Are y'all talking? Hi. How are y'all doing? Thank you. Appreciate that. Good luck. Headphones. Hunter Spider. They're only worth like 20 something, 27 bucks or so, but we'll try it. Why not? If you see Dr. Brown stuff, do not sell it on eBay. He's crashing down. Do not sell Dr. Brown stuff. Luxury 1800 sheets premium. That sounds expensive. All right, guys. Ooh. And for the record, your boy was sweating. Just, I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah, I was full blast sweating, like I just came out the shower and didn't even think about putting a towel. Found like four or five books. Oh. At this point, your boy was really feeling the pressure a little bit because looking at the time, it was 11, 12, and I was like, man, my phone was cutting out on Instagram, had 17 apps open trying to find <laughs> profits. So, yeah, I was like, maybe I need to do one thing at a time. That was sealed. That had been nice. Found a few books. Ink cartridge, no. Ooh. Weston table lamp. Somebody look that up. That sounds expensive. 
11, 12, which means I have about seven more minutes to look in the bins. And I'm giving my strategy away. So my competition, they know what I'm doing. Should fill that basket up. Med pride foam dressing, some of that stuff can be expensive. So it makes no sense. Why do I have a thousand apps open in the background? Looking eh, not looking that great. I told Instagram that it was doing eh because I found a really good product, but I knew somebody in the competition was watching me, so I didn't want to reveal it. Okay guys, I'm about to really uh focus this last little 10 minutes I got. It's been real. Wish me luck. See you in a little bit. Yeah, so you can check me out here on Instagram and don't forget to go check out our friends Hammock on Instagram as well while you're there. Why not? Thanks to everybody who's even in the competition and to Hammock for sponsoring the event as well. Everybody look them up. Thank you. <laughs> See, that was really nice at first she tried to hand me some breaks i didn't even look them up because i didn't want to get disqualified in the competition although when you're in your natural element people want to be nice and they want to look out for you so if you are a reseller don't mind putting it out there that you're a reseller people will literally be on the other side of a store and come all the way to you and bring you an item just because they thought it was a good deal so be on the lookout for that but i didn't accept anything that anybody gave me in the store that they thought would help me Although I think this is the only the only person who tried and I thought it was really sweet. But the second time I was like, no, ma'am, that brand isn't really good. Just be a good way to kind of deny her. And I decided to try to step away to try to find more profits elsewhere. And also there was like places I wanted to look at in the bins, but there were people already looking. So I just decided just to go around them. I mean, there's so many items in the bins that you may run across something that they forgot anyway, which you find that often $3 day is a day that people decided not to buy all of these items on their restock day. So the prices drop and these are the items left over. Tomorrow, there'll be a dollar and then the day after that, it'll be fill a bag day. So uh, it'll be nice to come back on fill a bag day just to see all the items I can probably grab. So guys, if you're interested in who else is in the competition, Harry Tornado, Ashley Wheeler, Flip the World, and Rainy Day Shopper, make sure you go follow their channels. You see them right there. I will have their links in the description box below as well. So make sure you go follow them and check out and see exactly what they thrifted, what they did, and what 
style did they use and exactly where did they go for their 30 minute challenge. As you can see, it's 11.17, which means I've been here for about 17 minutes. So I'm kind of thinking it's time for me to wind down and go through all the items to see, but I can't stop digging in the bins because I don't feel like I found anything good enough. And then I'm almost done anyway. I'm almost to the end so I can go a little bit faster, pick up the pace and try to find something profitable. I need to win this competition. Let's go. When I first saw this box, I thought it was a massage gun. Normally you come in and bend stores, you see massage guns in boxes like this. No markings, no writing on them, but I did end up looking at the label and seeing it was something that had nothing to do with massages or guns or anything of the sort. As time winds down, I go through the thoughts in my mind like it's really disappointing that I didn't find anything that's just like, wow, boom, blow you out the water or anything like that. Because you can go to a Goodwill and you can pay $10 for an item that can make you two, three hundred dollars easy, just depending on the time of the day. And if you get lucky. So, I mean, who knows? That's what I'm thinking about with the competition. So this is the time where I'm thinking, okay, now it's time to go back. I have to go get both of my piles. I have a pile right here that I have a bunch of stuff. I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and get both of them, bring them together. So I set all the stuff that I had in my hand down. As you can see, I was running around without even a bag at the last few minutes. So go back to my pile when I initially walk in and grab this big old balloon refiller upper helium thing, whatever you want to call it and then my other bag and just go back to the area that i was at and literally just start scanning because i'm not going to get every single one of these items and i want to make sure i'm getting items that are actually profitable because like i said i would normally do this anyway you walk into a bin store you gather as much stuff as you can you put it in a pile normally bin stores have buggies carts whatever it's always going to be soda but normally bin stores have these things and you don't have to worry about it and stacking things against the wall. Some bin stores do, some bin stores don't. It really doesn't matter. It's all about the profits. So you see me, I have all my stuff stacked together. So now I'm just have to go through the process of literally scanning all of these items. And I want to see exactly how much time I had left. So that's what I'm doing. Just taking the process of going through everything nice and slow. If I want it, I put it in my bag. And if I don't, I'll put it back. So you see the process of when people edit videos or especially me, there's a lot of stuff that I do leave out. Like I leave you snippets of videos, but obviously I take a lot of the stuff out because it's a lot of me just looking up items, walking around the bins and trying to find items. Sometimes I like to show you like the items that are wild, blow you away. And then sometimes it's just like, okay, we had a good day in the bins and it may not be so exciting to you, but it's like profits and profits to me is always exciting. So this part's gonna take a while. I hate that this video has to be live and consecutive because Hey, I'm not breaking the rules. So 
enjoy this part probably put a little bit of background music as i go through all of these items search the profit margins and see exactly what i'm gonna get And this is a friendly reminder. I like to usually put it in all my videos. When you're checking items, make sure when you scan them, you're checking sold comps. You're going into the tabs and you're pulling down the sold and completed items and making sure that you're seeing the items that definitely recently sold. So you know exactly if it's gonna sell for you or not. Another disadvantage for me, I usually look up items on eBay and Amazon, and I normally look up items on Amazon first. So my mindset is usually Amazon first. So it slows me down because I'm going through both apps and checking like sold results on both apps. So as we're going through all the items, it's like, what is going on? $199 brand new. Obviously this isn't brand new, but for $3, I'm definitely gonna take it. And I thought I needed one of these a long time ago. So it's just crazy that I ran across one today during this competition. Will it be good enough to win? Cause this will be probably the highlight item for me. And we can also get a glance and see it's 1125. So I have five more minutes to hurry up and look at all of these items. Y'all see I'm starting to put a little bit of pep in my step now, ain't you? Time's almost running out. I'm starting to organize a little bit, trying to get all the bags organized. If I'm going to buy it, put it in the bag. If I'm not going to buy it, take it out the bag, throw it in the bins. Time's running out, guys. $1,000 is on the line. I feel like I'm in the amazing race. I feel like I'm on Big Brother. I feel like I'm on one of those reality shows. And I would say all my dreams have come true, but this isn't one of those reality shows. But anyways, if Amazing Race is watching, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So let's go. Now, I looked at this thing one time before. I do not know why I'm looking at it again. Have you guys ever looked at one item more than one time on two different separate occasions? This is definitely a case of me looking at an item too long. I should have just threw it away immediately when I didn't find comps the first time. OCD kicks in and I wanna always find the comp somewhere on Google or something. There has to be a price somewhere.
So at this point, I'm realizing looking at the clock, I'll have less than three minutes. So I need to hurry up and just look up these last little comps. Hurry up and get organized for real this time and because I'm spending too much time looking at items. So I need to go check out. And that's the most important thing. I need to be checked out before my time is up, because when this clock hits 1130 and your boy's not out the door, it could be a disqualification and it's getting close. And I don't even think I'm gonna make it, to be honest, at this point. Yeah, time is getting really, really close, guys. So trying to even get my stuff to the counter is not even gonna, I don't even think I'm gonna make it. So I'm trying to hurry up and rush and get to the counter as fast as I can, not trying to knock anybody over. These ropes are like a real live obstacle course. I'm telling you, if you need me amazing race, I'm ready. checkout seeing the time they can't process my payment until they get a card so yeah a bunch of items guys you ready yeah get this bag for Decided to go ahead and show the time right here again just so you know that again I was waiting and yeah you should know by the time that it didn't take them that long to come with a card reader though. So as you can see, that's all the stuff that we grabbed today. We're gonna go to the house and go over all the items. Let's check the time one more time. 11.39, 11.39. So you see me, I was at the counter at 11.30 with all my items. The dude, he had to go get the credit card thing or something like that. So yeah, that's my time. Let's go to the house and review everything. Okay guys, I'm at the house. You can see all the stuff that I grabbed today. I think I got something that could win the competition. Ah. It's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Not, but I did have fun rushing through the bins, 30 minutes. Yeah, it took me a while. So go ahead, we're gonna go organize everything. I'm gonna get all my screenshots and everything prepared and then tally up and see what items I got. We know I spent 30 something dollars, $36 or $63, I don't know. Whatever it was, we do have the receipt. We took a screenshot of it too. So <laughs> whatever I spent and we're gonna see if I can make that back and see exactly what our profit's gonna be. And 
I really don't know if it's going to be return on investment for the entire haul or just one item or a combination of both. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to do tally it all up and then we'll get back to you here in a second. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and talk about all the prices and everything that I'm gonna submit into Hammock for the competition. So these three items, pretty much personal items, so that's $3 a piece, I'm gonna take off the price, but I will leave price comps next to the items because if I want to sell them, they could be profit. So if they wanna give me some bonus points, they could. Um, this Netbox AC12 just helps us get better Wi-Fi. You can hook it up and hook it up to, hook it up to the Wi-Fi and then hook it up to this. And then next thing you know, you have better Wi-Fi. An automatic hand this soap dispenser. I have one, but now we have two. And then also these headphones, these gaming headphones that I will probably give away on my channel at some point in time. Now, let's go ahead and go over all of the items and see exactly how much profit that we got. Now, keep in mind, we paid $3 per item. $3 per item plus whatever tax was. So we're gonna break it down. We're just gonna say 350 per item. That way we'll cover tax and everything. Really, we're gonna say 320 because this is a competition and it should be like 306. So we're gonna say 320, round up all the items and go from there. You see, we grab this Home Basics four piece glass canister. This is a cylinder set, obviously you can see, it's for keeping all of your noodles, peanuts and all candy, which I'll probably put in here, candy, candy and more candy. But this is for your canisters. This right here is selling for $31.30. One recently sold for $43.02 as well. $3 into the item and it's gonna sell for $43, guys. Next, we're gonna have this keyboard, this Peril, Perex Peridu keyboard 406. This item sold for $33 recently. I have $3 into it, I can't beat that. And let's go a little bit, I, I would, I'm trying to go a little bit faster because I know this video is super long and we know I don't like long videos. We have this genetics book, it's nice, it's sealed up and everything, but I'm gonna print pre-own comps just because I'm not sure if it is actually brand new. And if it's brand new, I think it's selling for like $100. But used comps is $24 plus shipping, $5 shipping. So I could probably make around $30 on this book or, or so. Next, this real estate brokerage book. Don't know if they're gonna count this or not because uh, some of these items may be going to Amazon as well. I'm an Amazon seller as well, so whatever the higher profit margin will be going. I saw this is selling for $25 and around 40 cents or so on Amazon. So it's probably selling for like around that on eBay. Normally if something's selling for higher on Amazon than it does on eBay, but it is what it is. So we're just gonna say $25. Right here we're gonna have this Spa Science Mio Diamond Microdermic Pore Extractor. This item selling for like around $19.49, $3 into that item. Then we're gonna have one of my favorite items we found this in the bins, the Microsoft Office Home and Student. This item sold recently for 60 bucks, got $3 into this item. I was like, as soon as I found this item, I was like, yep, this is gonna be the one I submit. Turn $3 into 60 immediately, just like that. And then you know the buyer will pay shipping on these items. These items sell like hotcake. This is hotcakes. This is a bolo. Be on the lookout for these, even though I don't believe in bolos. Be on the lookout for all items that are profits. But that's 60 bucks right there. Then we're gonna have the highlight item that I will submit. Let's go. I cannot believe I found this item. Even when I found it, I was like, okay, I really didn't know what it was. But this is an Elgato Stream Deck. This item is selling, I see comps right here, brand new for $199. Brand new for $199. I've already slipped inside, took a little sleep peek. It has all the parts and everything to it. You know, it's working nice and well. So uh, yeah, one recently just sold for $131 as well 
open box 115 plus shipping. So boom, this is the item that I'm gonna submit. I turned $3 into over $115 because yeah, I see one sold for 119, 115 open box, 199, that's brand new. Uh, obviously this one's probably open box at the very minimum. So yeah, 115 or $199. However you wanna do it, however you wanna judge, that's what I just turned $3 into. And then the fact that they sell every single day Let's go. So I'm gonna submit the Stream Deck Elgato into whatever competition that I'm supposed to be streaming into the competition. <laughs> then we found two of these Caboose Seats Chairs, boost, boost, Booster Chairs, and they sold for $30 plus shipping. So it might get like 50 bucks off of these items, to be honest. You can't beat that. I mean, you can't beat it. 30 words, so we're gonna say, as I put the comps up there, T20 plus shipping, 32 free shipping, 30 plus shipping. So at least 40, right? I got two of them. Turn three, what does it say? Two of them. So that's, we turn $6 into $80 or $3 into $40. However you want to look at that. Then we found these other set of headphones. These are the professional Onakuma. I'm not even going to try to kill the pronunciations of this, guys. But right here, a recent one sold for $44.75. One did sell for $24. One selling between $39.99 and $50.99. So yeah, I, that's why I didn't want to submit this because it's also open box. These boxes are just really damaged. If you can see in here, all the items are still in here. Looks wrapped up and everything. So I don't want to mess with the integrity of the box. But again, that is another item that we grabbed. And then let's go ahead and say the next item that we got is going to be this Western Classics. I like DVDs and taking chances on just random items. And this one seems like it's selling frequently enough. Paid $3 for it. We see sales comps of $17.95, $15 plus shipping and so on and so forth. So we're going to turn about $3 into like 12. Not the highlight, nothing to really brag about, but we like those little profits too on this channel. Don't know about them other guys. I was shopping not only for the thousand dollars, but also for my eBay account, because that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> the next item we're gonna have is gonna be this Wade or Baybon Smart 8 port type C and USB charger. This is selling for $26. Torn if I want to keep it or sell it, but I went ahead and just put it in the seller pile. $26, turn three into $26. Can't believe that. And then we're gonna have this camera right here, this Emit. 3-in-1 C980, that's what the brand is, C980, and that is important because if we go by Amazon, our Amazon prices now, I can get about $100 on this camera. It looks still to be sealed and everything, so about $100 on this camera. But all the open box and pre-owns are selling for like $53, $53. So I see a bunch of pre-owned and open box comps selling for $45. So we know, like I said, Amazon selling for like 100, I can get around 70, right? Right, maybe. So can we submit this in for like a 70 piece, a $70 piece? Because we're gonna see nothing but open box. Well, open box is 45, so I guess, yeah, we'll go, we'll go with 50 on that one, $50, turning three into 50. I need all the little dollars I can get because we know everybody else in the competition, they are gonna be out there grinding. And then we're gonna have an item. I wanted to throw a little bit of everything in the item. They said we wanted to see sold comps, this item right here is selling for $29 on eBay 24 and 19, but there are no sold comps. So what are you gonna do about this? I just wanted to submit it to see what y'all was gonna do. Um, oh, Hammock. <laughs> and make sure that y'all go follow Hammock as well on their Instagram page. And then we found this FS200. This is the Impulse Sealer. This is selling for $15, $17, and $19. Again, nothing really to highlight you or blow you away, but it's selling every day. And I like them profits for Tay, because that's what it's about. Even though I'm entering a contest for $1,000, if I don't win, I still need to find items to actually sell. So I didn't go sourcing just for $1,000. I just lived like a regular day, and I went sourcing and recorded myself. So that's pretty much what I did. I didn't go out my way to go anywhere special. And these are the profits that I found thus far. Then we found this set of satin sheets. Yeah, that sounds just a little bit nice, don't This one I should have submitted just for the name, satin sheets. Y'all know what goes on in satin sheets. Anyways, um, this item is selling for $60. Yes, 60 bucks. Satin sheets are selling for $60. I can't believe it either, but that's what it says right there. $60.73, and that was just recently sold June 28th. So yeah, and they're in, just, they're in there too. I'm not taking them out, and they, yes, they are brand new. So we don't have to go through all that. We have this bag right here. This is, uh, 
a new day, I guess. Responsible style. You see the price tag right there, it says $35, but I don't know if we're gonna go with the $35. I will try to find comps for it. I just grabbed it because time was running out and I really didn't get to go check all my sold comps and stuff like I really wanted to because time was running out and I wanted to be at the checkout counter at 11.30. So yeah, it's selling for $35, so maybe I can get $35 for it. Finally, guys, finally, 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 we are going to have this Crosser bag. This is like a laptop bag. It like charges your laptop, everything. Um, it's pretty cool. As I looked it up and found out what it was, when I typed it in Google, I saw some, some, some like hundreds of dollars. I was like, oh my God, do I have that one? But it doesn't turn out, I don't think I have that one. I will do a little bit more research. The one I think that I found is right here and it is selling for $36.91. It's right there, it looks like the same kind, same brand, same name and everything right there. So $36.91 is what we're gonna say, turn $3 into $36. And this bag looks like it sells every day as well. That's it, challenge is complete. Did I win? I don't know yet. I won't find out until maybe a few days, but wish me luck guys. So I have to put this video together, calculate all this stuff and hope that I won. Again, wish me luck, but even if I don't win, make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow and go check out Hammock. Uh, we'll talk about them a little bit more probably in the next video. And yeah, that's it guys. Make sure you bless somebody today. I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow. Go check the merch. At this point in time, your boy Tay is out.